343 currently states there are no efforts being put to a new Halo Wars game, but what does this mean for Halo Infinite and how the lack of a Halo Wars 3 directly affects the storytelling for Halo Infinite? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe to keep yourself up to date. So let's get right into the content here. So yes, you heard me right. There is not going to be a Halo Wars 3 coming for the Halo franchise. This comes as a big disappointment for many fans out there. I know a lot of people did enjoy the Halo Wars series. I haven't actually had a chance to play it, but I do plan to do it on my stream. So if you guys want to check out my live stream, link in the description down below. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday night. I'm looking to play through all of the Halo Wars series 1 and 2. It will be my first time playing through, so I think it'll be a fun time to join in. And again guys check out the link in the description down below i think there's always been a little bit of a soft spot for the halo wars franchise as initially halo was supposed to be a halo wars like game yeah halo was initially an rts game and then eventually became a third person shooter and then eventually right before coming onto the xbox was changed to a first person shooter and both halo wars games were received rather well with halo wars 1 on the 360 which is an rts game on the console which is a big accomplishment on itself right there receiving an 82 on metacritic which is a solid score right there and halo wars 2 receiving a 79 not as high but still reputable kind of score to where it's something worth, you know, if you're going to play the game, it's not that bad. Though it seems like the popularity of the Halo Wars series isn't just quite there to justify a new addition coming to the game or any updates or any new platforms. They did here in a recent community update by 343 saying, 343 Industries has no current plans or further Halo Wars 2 work, including content updates, balance patches, bringing the title to other platforms or new games in the series. In this community update, they talk about how the publishing team is mainly focusing on the MCC, bringing new bi-monthly content drops for that game as well. While well, the majority of the studio, as in the vast majority of the studio, is currently working on Halo Infinite to make sure that launch is what it needs to be. And so right now, 343 is just kind of stretched for work right now. It just doesn't have the time or place to make a new Halo Wars game happen. And so currently the franchise is really just like on hold. It's not completely completely killed off or anything like that. They just state that it's just currently not in the works. But they don't completely rule out a Halo Wars 3 game. It's just, again, I said earlier, it's just not happening because of the amount of work that the studio is currently doing right now. They even bring up the example saying, if you asked me if MCC was going to be on PC three years ago, they'd probably say, call you a madman kind of thing. But look where we are right now. So they say, obviously, don't completely rule it out. Now this leaves a very interesting question of how would this actually possibly tie into Halo Infinite? There are some loose ends from the Halo Wars 2 game that haven't really been resolved yet. Uh, one is currently the position of Atriox as our last known location. He was stranded on the Ark, but I believe in Shadows of Reach, there are some things that happened with him. So Atriox is still out in the galaxy doing his thing, doing his Atrioxy things. And so now that would make me believe that since Atriox isn't just stranded on the Ark anymore, that it would make me believe that we'd have to see him in Halo Infinite in some capacity. I mean, 343 even has a gigantic, like, life-size statue of Atriox in their atrium when you first walk into the studio. So he's a major character. They want to continue building off of him. Uh, he's very well received within Halo Wars 2. People love the character and want to see more of him. And Eshram's kind of more just like his second-hand man to Atriox. And, and Eshram's just kind of like the de facto leader. Well, Atriox really is the true leader of the Banished. Captain James Cutter is another major character that was in Halo Wars 2. Uh, he was the captain of the Spirit of Fire, a very important ship within the Halo lore. Currently, from our last location, I think we saw it, it was just hanging around the Ark uh, right before we saw a Halo ring launched into slip space. Professor Ellen Anders actually sent that new Halo ring that's meant to replace Installation 04, which we blew up in Combat Evolved. Uh, sent that into slip space and on its travel to its location where it needed to be, it was intercepted by a Guardian. So now currently they created have control of a Halo ring within the timeline of Halo lore. And that hasn't been resolved yet either. And then we also have the Spartan of Jerome 092. Uh, from the people who played Halo Wars, they really enjoyed this character and want to see more of him. 
And so possibly we could see him in Halo Infinite as well, or possibly spin-off games. Now with the new Slift Space engine that they bring in for Halo Infinite, obviously they're going to try to build more around Halo from just Halo Infinite, even though Halo Infinite is going to be the main platform to play Halo on. But it does sound like they're going to be doing some more spin-off games possibly. A job posting a while back did mention about some new experiences within the Halo universe. Either it could be a reference to Halo Infinite or a completely new spin-off game. There are many ways 343 could go about implementing these characters into Halo's story, like the playable content at least. Uh, we just kind of have to wait and see what happens, but there's a lot of loose ends from Halo Wars 2 that need to be tied up, and we probably might see those be kind of wrapped up within Halo Infinite at some point. So the loss of the Halo Wars series indirectly affects the storytelling for Halo Infinite and how 343 is going to move forward with these characters and plot lines. But until we know more, we'll just have to just kind of sit around and wait until we get some more information. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you've been on the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I'll link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.